a look at the Erector Spinner plane block now. Um, I've turned on the virtual convex on my probe to give me a wild fit, wider field of view on here and you'll see why that will benefit you. So first of all I'm going to count down my ribs. So start high, one, two, three, and we're going to go in the level of the fourth and the fifth rib. And we can see where we see our rib here. It's sort of a rounded structure. We're going to scan medium and we're going to see where those ribs level out. And what we're going to find is that they level out from a rib to a transverse process. And we're going to look for our three muscle layers of trapezius, rhomboid, and erector spinae. We can see our pleura moving freely down below. Our needle entry point will be from the cephalad side of the probe. And ideally, we want to aim towards one of those transverse process. This gives us a safety buffer that if we advance our needle too far, we're reducing our risk of a pneumothorax. We can touch the top of the transverse process and just step back just a millimetre and inject beneath that erector spinae muscle. We can see our muscles very clearly laid out here. Now I have my patient sitting. This can also be done in the lateral position. If this block is being done for bilateral control, then sitting, I find, is a slightly easier way to perform this block. But again, if you're doing this uh, procedure when the patient is already asleep, turning them laterally is going to be of benefit for you.